Hi Joy. So I'm going to go ahead and start this video showing you um, what I recommend that you eat for breakfast. I have a little baby strapped to my back. I don't know if you can see her. So she's sleeping so I'm going to kind of talk low but hopefully it's loud enough so that you can hear me okay. All right, here we go. All right, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is water. All right, so water is the most important nutrient. We're made up of about 70% water and we need to make sure that as soon as we get up in the morning that we're hydrating. So we fasted all night and our cells are wide open and we need to flush out all of our toxins. And this is also gonna help your digestion, it's gonna help with weight loss, and it's gonna help keep your body feeling healthy, and you're gonna have a lot more mental focus because even if you're slightly dehydrated, that can prevent mental focus and feel you, make you feel sluggish and fatigued. So I have this big picture here. So throughout the, the entire day, Okay, you need to be drinking at least one large pitcher of water. So you're gonna start first thing in the morning with three glasses. Okay, so I have this mason jar here. I don't know if it's a thing in Texas, it's a thing here in Florida. Everybody uses mason jars to drink out of. So um, it's 12 ounces. I want you to drink three of these first thing in the morning before you do anything else. I know that sounds like a lot and you can work your way up to it but it's gonna help you go to the bathroom first thing, which is never a bad thing, right? And it's also gonna help keep you super hydrated throughout the day. So um, I use, I have a reverse osmosis machine. Make sure your water is nice and clean. All right, so I filled it up to 12 ounces. And then we're gonna take some lemon. This is gonna help alkalinize our water. Okay, and I have a little lemon squeezer here, but I only have one hand. So you're gonna squeeze in some lemon into your three cups of water that you're gonna drink, okay? And so three of these, first thing in the morning, not cold, it should be room temperature. Um, first thing, before you do anything else, you start there, okay? The second thing you're going to do after you've had your water is you're gonna have a cup of apple cider tea. Now, you're gonna do this in the morning and you're also gonna do this at night. Okay, now apple cider vinegar, it should be organic, um, but the apple cider vinegar has so many medicinal uses, um, and it helps with weight loss, it helps with, with, um, with inflammation, so it helps reduce inflammation. In fact, mom and I drink this when we have our flare-ups, because both of us have osteoarthritis. So if we get up in the morning, we're feeling really stiff and our, and our joints ache, especially our hands, um, at one cup of this, and what we're feeling better almost immediately. So apple cider vinegar tea. So what you're gonna do is I put in, I poured in two capfuls into this glass here. So two capfuls and then you're gonna take hot water that you've microwaved, make sure it's pure, pure water. You're gonna fill that up into your, you don't wanna, you don't wanna microwave your apple cider vinegar because the organic has the mother in it. The mother are these little floaty things at the bottom. I don't know if you can see them. Um, but those are important, so we wanna keep those. And if we microwave them, we might kill them off. So you can add a little bit of honey to it because it's gonna be very bitter. Um, I drink it straight, but I'm used to it. If you want, you can add a little bit of um, organic, um, raw honey's best, but any um, organic pure honey, make sure it's not corn syrup, make sure you read the ingredients, see organic honey. Um, put a little bit of that in there, stir it up, and then you're gonna drink this first thing in the morning and then at night before you go to bed, okay? So that's really important. This is gonna help you with weight loss and it's gonna help you with your pain as well. All right, next thing that we're going to do after we've had our three cups of water and we've had our apple cider vinegar tea, now we can finally eat our breakfast, okay? So here we go, I have another mason jar and I filled it up with oats and I've sent you some oats, organic oats and this is one cup of oats, okay? Now you're gonna wanna do this the night before or first before you have your water and your tea. So allow these oats to, to soak in all the fluid that I'm gonna put in there in just a minute and um, get nice and soft, all right? So you can do it, it's called overnight oats, or you can do it first thing in the morning before you have your tea and water. So one cup of oats, and then you're gonna add your, your other fun ingredients to it. Okay, so um, you can put almonds, sliced almonds are great. Um, you can put fruit. So I have some blueberries here. 
And if you do a banana, just do half a banana because they can be inflammatory if you eat too much of them because they're really high in sugar. Berries are great because they're a low glycemic index, so they don't affect your, affect your blood sugar too much, and they tend to be a little bit lower in sugar than other fruits. Mangoes are excellent. Kiwis are excellent, especially a good source of vitamin C and potassium. Okay, So you can cut that up and put that in your oats. You can add, um, like I said, almonds. You can do chia seeds. So chia seeds, I don't know if you're familiar with these, but the Aztecs used to use them. They're super high in healthy fats, which is not a bad thing. I know fats, most people think fats are high in calories, and they are, but we need healthy fats, especially for our brain and for our joints. So um, they're also a great source of protein, complex carbohydrate, and, um, and minerals. And minerals are really important. Most people in the United States are deficient in minerals because of the standard American diet. So these are an excellent source of minerals. So you can pour these either in with your oats or you can use them in lieu of oats. So you can do one cup chia seeds over one cup, um, actually probably half a cup chia seeds because they'll expand. So once these, once these get fluid on them, whether it be water or milk, they're gonna plump up. Um, and it's almost gonna be like a tapioca pudding. So if you like that texture, you'll probably like this. If not, just add a teaspoon or a tablespoon in with your oats um, for some extra nutrition and extra fiber. So fiber is going to help keep you fuller longer, um, which is going to aid in weight loss. You're not going to be as hungry, which is important. I know you keep saying that you feel hungry all the time. I totally understand that. So the chia seeds in with your oats with all that fiber, it's going to make you feel full until your next meal. So then you're going to add your milk. Now we use, um, well, I use nut milk because I don't tolerate dairy at all. Dairy for me is very inflammatory. When I eat dairy foods the next morning, I always wake up with joint pain. So, um, you know, you just pour in your oats. If you do buy nut milks, make sure it's unsweetened. That's super important because they can have a ton of added sugars and that will be counterproductive to what we're trying to do. So, almond milk, and then you wanna add in your herbs and your spices. So, spices are very medicinal. Um, ginger's great for the digestion. Cinnamon's great for helping stabilize blood sugar levels. So you're going to add in your spices into your overnight oats. And then I've sent you some stevia, which is a very natural sweetener. It comes from the stevia plant. And you're just going to put a couple drops in there to help give it a little bit of sweetness. Now your fruit will give it sweetness as well. But um, if you want a little bit more, um, then you can add your stevia. So this should be your go-to sweetener from now on instead of sugar or, you know, um, maple syrup or anything like that. You know, for now, for now we're just going to stick with our stevia. Okay, and then after you've had your oats, your breakfast, so what you would do is you would seal it up after you put all your other ingredients in there and then put it in your fridge and then in the morning when you're ready to have your breakfast, it's ready to go. Or you can just do that first thing before you have your water and tea and then it should be pretty much soft enough ready to eat. Last thing you're gonna do is have your tea, okay? So this is gonna be in lieu of coffee. Your green tea is gonna give you that kick to get you going and it's also super high in antioxidants. Green tea has so many health benefits overall. So I use matcha, you don't have to use matcha, just make sure you get a good organic green tea. Um, so have your nice hot cup of green tea after you've had your breakfast and that's gonna help get everything going and hopefully this will keep you good until your lunch. I think it will, it does for me. So this is your breakfast and then I'm gonna do another video for your lunch and dinner. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.